Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys um, my kids' folders or binders for the school year. It includes their schedule and a few other things and also an updated chore list for them. Uh, many videos back, I did a uh, kind of scheduling and how um, I do their chores, but we were changing it up this year. So each of my kids, um, I picked their favorite colors, Christopher's, uh, Haley and Addie, and then they all like customized it the other day. So they saw I was like working on it and then they put all these stickers on them. But um, I'm gonna kind of just show you what's inside and then I'll go through what's on their chores and what's, for, what's on their schedule for um, their independent subjects. Okay, so um, I made this on Canva and it just has their weekly chores. So there's um, an everyday section and then it's just Monday through uh, Friday. So let's just kind of break it down. Now each kid has different chores on different days. Um, so for their everyday things, this isn't necessarily like their chores, but it's just like they're things that they should be doing that I expect of them um, every day. Uh, and that's just making their bed, cleaning their room. Um, they all have to be responsible for their bathroom up here. They all share a bathroom upstairs and uh, the trash gets overflowed all the time. And so that on there is that it needs to be emptied. It, they need to make sure it's emptied. Um, and then their laundry baskets need to be taken downstairs when they're pretty much getting close to full or if they need, um, if there's certain clothes that they want for the next day, uh, I expect them to bring that downstairs. So those are just everyday things. Um, so Monday I have Haley has laundry day. She also has to clean the shower um, upstairs. Tuesday she has dishes that's unloading and loading the dishwasher and she has to wipe down all countertops downstairs. Wednesday she has to vacuum the living room and the front room and she has trash duty that day. Not just the trash downstairs, but like in their waste baskets up here, just all trash needs to be taken to the garbage can. Thursday, she has to dust the living room and clean the upstairs bathroom. And Friday, she makes lunch for everybody. Not me, I will make my own lunch, but I'm trying to get them. I did mention this before and we did do it for a while and then I was just kind of like faded off. So trying to get in the habit of, I want them to be able to you know, make their own lunch or make lunch for their siblings. So we're working on that. Um, she also has to clean the bathroom downstairs. The bathroom downstairs is a half bath. So these are just scheduled chores that she will have. Um, and I don't know if you guys are interested in like what I have for the other kids, but very similar to Haley's, except Christopher has, um, on Thursdays, he has to mow the lawn. I help him with like the edging and everything, but that's a chore he has to do. Um, and then like the other chores are just kind of similar to this. There, there might be a couple others like vacuuming the upstairs, like loft area, um, sweeping, mopping, uh, stuff like that. So each, all three have this similar chores, just not on the same day. And um, as far as like bathrooms and stuff like that, it's not my room, it's not my bathroom, obviously. And um, I'm just, I want them to have a little bit more responsibility and that's why we're doing the chores. So Haley's schedule, I printed this off of um, the Good and the Beautiful's, uh, they have like a blog site, I think. If you go on their website at the top, I think it's, I can't remember exactly what I clicked on, something about like planning and stuff like that. And this is on like when you scroll down, it shows like different schedules that you can kind of print out where it's like, if you do a block schedule, loop schedule, relaxed schedule. Relaxed it does not work for me. I've, I've tried loop schedule before, I didn't really, like it too much. So this is just kind of like a checklist one, only they won't be checking it off. So um, so for Monday, um, Monday, I'm not gonna go through every day of the week. I'm just gonna tell you that Tuesdays and Thursdays are the exact same. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are also um, the same minus one thing on Friday. So Monday schedule for Haley, this is her daily work. So the way we're gonna do school this year is, I did mention I'm bringing morning basket back, so I'm excited about that. Morning basket will be in the beginning. We are gonna rotate out several different books. I'm gonna do a completely different video on what's in our morning basket for next year. Um, but we will, minus all the books that we're gonna kind of rotate through. Um, I also have um, science and history. Science will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays and um, history is gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So that's 
a kind of a rough idea of what that's going to look like. So we'll spend so much time on kind of morning devotional type things. And then we'll probably go into like a history lesson. And then after that, they are going to break off into their independent subjects. So the, the way I kind of have this looking, um, let me just kind of give you an idea of like what my Monday would like a Monday would look like. So, and then I'll tell you what kind of like my Tuesday, Thursdays will look like. So Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays um, are going to have, Haley will start off with one page in her vocabulary, um, vocabulary workbook. At that same time, Addison will be working on her handwriting and Christopher will be doing his math. So I tried to do it where um, originally last year and many years prior, they were doing a lot of their stuff at the same time, same subjects at the same time and all that, but they were all working at different paces. So, you know, like Haley might be blowing through like a English lesson and then she's getting so bored because we're waiting on Christopher to catch up and Addie to catch up, or maybe Addie and Chris are at the same pace, but Haley's just like going so fast with it. And, and the same thing would be for some other stuff like math. And so, I figured handwriting, she, Haley can totally do independently and Addie can do independently. Math for Christopher, I want to, um, he's gonna be doing it online because we're doing Denison this year and he's never done anything online. So we, I, what I wanna do is for the first couple of weeks, I wanna like be there if he needs my help. Um, but if I see that he doesn't need any help or assistance navigating anything, um, then he might not need my help. But I tried to do it where, two kids are working independently and I'm helping the other with something and then it switches. So two kids are working independently and then I'm helping the other one. So then after vocabulary, Haley has independent reading for 20 minutes. During that time, Addie will have her language arts and Christopher will be doing handwriting. So I can help Addie with language arts while the other two are working independently. And then Haley then will have math. Addie has a vocabulary page and Chris also will have vocabulary. So once again, helping one kid, the two others are working by themselves. Then Haley will have handwriting. Addie has independent reading. So both the girls are working independently and I will help Chris with his language arts. Um, now I know that the good, the good and the Beautiful, it has only like a very, from what it looks like, it, I won't have to help them too much, but I wanna be there to help if he needs um, assistance with anything that's same for the girls. And then Haley will finish with language arts, Addie will finish with um, math, and Chris has independent reading for 20 minutes. Um, Addie, I will be helping her with her math um, if she needs it, and uh, Haley with her language arts. So Haley does really, really well working independently with anything having to do with language arts, um, vocabulary, all that. So I think she's going to be fine, um, but I'll be there in case she needs help. And then I know Addie will have like video, short video lessons with the Good and the Beautiful's um, math. So she'll watch that and then I'll kind of be there if she needs assistance. I'm really going to push her this year to try to do more on her own with that. Um, I still want to teach them obviously, but it's, uh, I I feel like if they're relying too much on me to read the directions, kind of break down what that means, I they're not critically thinking, you know? So I'm just going to kind of be there, but I'm going to really push for them to, hey, you need to try to read these directions on your own. What do you think the, they're asking you to do? And kind of, you know, guide them, but with like a little bit of a push, if that makes sense. So Monday, Wednesday, Monday and Wednesdays will look like that schedule I just told you. Fridays are going to look pretty much the same, except um, there's not going to be language arts on Friday. So we're only doing language arts four days out of the week. Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be a little bit different. So um, let's see, Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to have, uh, so Haley will do one page in her reading comprehension workbook. This is supplementary, by the way. This has nothing to do with the good and the beautiful. It's just extra practice stuff I I got one of those spectrum books. Um, I don't know if you guys want to take a look through that. I can do a flip through, but they're just um, stuff to just kind of help them out a little bit more. And then this year we are incorporating typing. So she will do typing um, while Haley is doing her reading comprehension. Addie is going to be working on typing. Addison has her own laptop. Um, so she'll be working on that. Chris will have language arts. And then Haley will go on, go straight into her typing. Addie will do math and Christopher will do a page in his reading workbook. Then language arts. 
Addie will work on reading and Christopher will do math. And that is it. Um, I think that's it for Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're only doing one, two, three, four independent subjects on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Monday they have one, two, three, four, five. five. So, but also um, those one page vocabulary things are very short and their independent reading is only 20 minutes. So this is like much shorter than what I've ever done. Normally they are doing like seven things and it's, we're not doing that much. Like I said, I'm simplifying things a lot this year. Um, we still will be doing Bible, but notice how I don't have Bible on here. That's because I will tell you about that in our video, but uh, I am doing not consumed, but Bible is going to be a, done a little bit differently this year. And I'll tell you guys more about that. And when I talk about the morning basket. Okay. So the next page I have is a goals page. I also printed this off of the good and the beautiful. Um, at the top, it says brainstorm things that you're interested in, brainstorm things that you want to improve, brainstorm things you can do to serve and then an action plan. It's just um, the first day of school, I'm gonna have them kind of fill this out, get goals for themselves. And um, so they can just kind of, I don't know, I thought it was like a good idea to have like goals, you know? Okay, and then typing log. So um, because we're doing typing with the good and the beautiful, uh, they have um, like nature pictures or not pitch pictures, uh, nature stickers. And after they do like lesson one, they pick a sticker and put it on like the little circle. But um, I already know all three of my kids are gonna fight over who gets to put the sticker on. I'm not even gonna start with that. So they have, um, I just made that on Canva and um, they all have like stickers. I had extra stickers from another curriculum. So um, they each will have stickers in the back. And after they do lesson one, they get to put their own sticker on there. After lesson two, they put the date and put their sticker on there. And that um, has 80 lessons. And we are only doing typing um, two days a week. So Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, they, the curriculum said you could do it like two to three times a week. But I figure Tuesdays and Thursdays would be a good day to do that. I have a laptop and Addie has one. And I think yeah we have one downstairs that's my husband so but all three of them won't be doing it at the same time so while one's working on one can use mine or Addie's however and then I made this book tracker sheet also on Canva so all of my kids have very different interests when it comes to read alouds and I found that out this past year so I would pick a read aloud and or I would pick a couple and I'm like hey guys but like let's decide which one's or which one we're gonna read. And they all voted on the opposite ones of each other. So uh, we will still be doing a read aloud series this year, but, um, and like their history read alouds, but this one, I want them, when they're doing their independent reading, um, they can log their books and right here, um, they can track it, or not track it, rate it. Basically, if they like it, they'll give it five stars or three stars or whatever. And they thought that was fun. So I put that on there for them. Um, and then in the back is just like this little cheat sheet from uh, for their language arts. So editing symbols and then um, spelling rules reference um, in case they need that. Okay, and they also have these lined papers in the back for creative writing assignments or scratch paper or anything they might need it for. And then I also have um, this from The Good and the Beautiful. It's, uh, they're going to use it on their first day. Um, they get to color these two if they want, and they're just bookmarks, and then I can laminate them for them. Just something they, fun that they can work on in the morning or something like that. And that is everything that's in both of theirs. Now, um, this ideally we'll probably have a lot more in it at the end of the school year just whatever craft craft things are working on or assignments or whatever um it's just going to be in here and in the morning um like this daily schedule or not even schedule it's just kind of like a flow uh that they have um they'll probably end up getting in the habit of what comes next and the reason i did that is because um one for more independent work right but also um i want them to be able to okay i have to do vocabulary what do i do right after that instead of like maybe i'm teaching a math lesson but then like you know so i don't have to keep stopping what i'm doing if like maybe i'm like in a language arts lesson or a math lesson and they're like what do i do next so instead of telling them they can just look on here and then they know what 
what flow they're going with. But I will say, I don't know how um, this schedule is going to work. This is the first year I'm doing it like this, this flow. Um, so we'll see. It's, I like the idea. I think it's going to work really well for us. Um, I just don't know how long each thing is going to take us, right? So if Haley's blowing through all this and all of a sudden she's like, hey, mom, I'm ready for math, but um, I'm working on something else with Addie. Um, that I have no idea yet. So I'm thinking uh, that will probably happen. And so what I'll have her do is go ahead and start in her math at like the same table and I'll just have to do both. But ideally, uh, once she starts getting in the flow or all of them of like how things are gonna go, I'm hoping it's gonna be um, efficient. I hope it's gonna work out for us, but I'll probably do like a quarter one update and let you know if I've changed anything on the schedule. Um, oh, one more thing. Okay, I also printed this um, password sheet and this is for their science and, um, what else was it for? Oh, Christopher's math. So um, that way, if they need to do any logins, the passwords are on here and there's probably gonna be another password or two that I'll put on here, but um, yeah, I didn't fill that out yet. So, but that will go in each of their um, folders also or their, their little binders here. And that is the entire schedule flow. Um, as far as morning basket goes, I don't want to dive too much into that uh, yet, but I will let you guys know everything and how that morning flow is going to look. But my goal this year is to really have just things be a lot more relaxed as far as like how morning is going to kind of flow into uh, independent subjects. And then even the independent subjects, I'm not having them be too like, oh, this is too much because those, the things that they're working on this year, I feel like it's not going to be so overwhelming. Last year, I just felt like it was so much stuff, right? And I'm like, oh, like, I feel like we would do history and then it's like, okay, let's do math. Let's do this. Let's do that. And it's just like, it's so heavy, right? And it's, I don't want it to be so heavy. I want to enjoy homeschool. I want my kids to enjoy it while we're still learning things. So that's everything. And um, yeah, I hope it works out for us. Uh, we'll see, but um, I feel like it's gonna be good. So thanks so much. Um, and if you've stayed this long, I know it's kind of a lengthy video. I don't even know how long it's been that I've been talking, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe and let me know if you guys follow a flow or a schedule or and what that looks like. And um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.